Okay, so this is the uh, second fermentation for the Magnata wine. Um, as you can see, I have my carboy, which is cleaned out already. Um, and I have my bucket of wine up higher here. And a few of the tools you'll need for this is, um, this is what I'm gonna prime and push all my fluid into the carboy. Um, I already sterilized all the equipment I'm using with the sterilizer. A spoon, you're gonna need a funnel. And you got your carboy. And I've already put in the uh, meta, meta bisulfate that what comes with the kit into the carboy with a little bit of hot water before I start to uh, take basically take the wine from first fermentation into the second, which is going to allow it to basically clear. So I already take the so we'll take the lid off here <coughs> off of that the bucket. It's been a month already. I'm going to stick this end in here. Get one of these. You get them at the hardware store. They're just awesome. So you stick the one tube in, and you're gonna just go up and down with this to get her prime. And away we go. It'll probably take a few minutes. You try and keep it a little higher um, from going to the bottom because all that sediment's down there. But as you can see, it's filling up pretty good. takes a bit. Um, so it's been about a month now for this and you can see it's not too clear. It's still clearer than if it was uh, just starting out but that'll clear pretty quickly and then the uh, majority of the sediment will be on the very bottom of the carboy. Now the reason why um, Magnato wants you to do it originally in the carboy is just because the sides are smooth and the bucket's not but I just found that it's easier with the bucket right away. It's less mess and less moving around the carboy. And if you only have one carboy, this probably makes the most sense. <clears throat> so. You can see it goes pretty quick to fill the carboy up. So this is, was, uh, I think I started the first kit with uh, a red wine. This is a Pinot Grigio, which is a white wine. Just wanted to show the clarity of it, how it comes out from the month fermentation. I mean, you can leave these longer for fermentation if you want to. Um, it just makes it easier. You get less sediment that it has to clear if you want to leave it in your first fermentation bucket. So yeah, I recommend getting one of these, uh, I don't know what they call them there, like a, get them at the flea market or whatever to fill up the wine here. They're really good. I mean, so I think they're supposed to be used for filling gas and what have you. So as you can see, I'm I'm just pushing the uh, the bucket to the side to get the last of it, and I keep it very close to the top as I'm doing it because I don't want to touch any of the sediment. I want to keep all that sediment in the bottom, which is basically just it's all the the yeast and everything that's been used and absorbed already from fermentation. I'll give you a shot of it when I'm all done here. So you can see it's slowing down and I just don't want to get the, the remnants of the crap in there. And that's it, you just pull that up and it stops the, uh, basically stops the funnel and lift it up a little higher, get the last of it in there. So we're done with there. So this is the, the leftover um, fermentation. You can see it in there, it's really high, uh, hard. Usually it's scummy, it's been a month, so normally I leave it for longer than that. Um, but this is that's all I recommend is a month and the rest will clear so now you got to top it up a little bit It's a 23 liter I like to bring it up to here um, So I have some wine that I basically use as a topper or you can fill it up with water. So I put the funnel on there We're just topping it up. It's old. It's just regular white wine again. I just want to use it as a topper for the Pinot Grigio, if you're gonna get it all back, it's just, you're just using it as a topper. And I'm gonna put a bit of water in there because I don't like it um, as much alcohol in there. It sort of waters it down in a slight bit. You can leave it if you want to. But when you're topping up wine, you wanna keep it as much off the, as much off the top as possible. So I also put it on top on a, like a small bucket too because this way you can slide it over easier to your sink or whatever. But it's up to you how you want to do it. So I'm just going to top this up. There you go. And 
then I have uh, the long spoon. So now you're good. it's called aerating it, and that's why you have the little hole in the bottom here for aerating your wine. So you just want to mix it really well. Some people have other machines they do it, but you want to try and get the, as much air out as possible and mix it up as possible. And you'll see the air moving in there and just let it breathe. I mean like a bucket on the bottom and lets you have a little bit of movement you don't want to drop this carboy I had one break already and it shattered so be very careful but as you can see it's foaming up that's exactly what you want when you're starting to aerate your wine do that for a few minutes and uh, oh, that's pretty good and you still see all the air coming up. Yep, <clears throat> so I already have a cork all ready to go. And on this one here, I haven't I had an S lock to start. Um, this is just a different kind of uh, an air lock. But you can see there's a little line on here and that's where you fill the water to and that's it. So um, I'm just gonna wet the top of the rubber here before it gets in. And basically that's it. Now you're gonna let this sit for another month. And that's it. That's it for your second stage fermentation. In a month, all of the sediment will go off the sides of the carboy and it'll all sit in the bottom. And then you're ready for bottling and I'll, I'll do a bo uh, bottle demonstration on that and we'll see, actually I'll do one on the clarity of this um, Pinot Grigio, it's easier to see. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care.